It's a great question because I came to Morocco in 2014 originally to run the Marathon des Sables and I really, I was very greedy. I fell in love with the whole country, not just one man. I fell for everything and I decided to stay. And as I lived here, I decided I wanted to know more about the, the wilderness, the, the heart of Morocco. So I looked on my map and I found the Dra River and I thought, excellent. If I walk the Dra River, I'm walking from the mountains to the sea, through some desert, I will see a lot of different things. And then when I completed that marhala, that stage, I thought, hmm. And Jean-Pierre from Dardaif said, Alice, why don't you walk now the Sahara and then the Atlas and you will have walked the whole of Morocco. So I decided to do that. I, I loved walking with the team and Morocco is full of interest. It has amazing nature mountains, desert, sea, it has incredible history. Everywhere you walk in Morocco, you find history under your feet, literally. You, you fall on history and it has wonderful people. I think this for me is the main thing, the, the hospitality, the kindness I met on the path really inspired me. There were so many difficulties. And uh, one day we arrived in quicksand and we, oh, the camels almost got killed in the quicksand. Um, it was hot, it was windy, it was cold. You know, we ran out of water because there was no water in the Sahara, of course. There were so many difficulties in our path, but I was with an amazing team of Moroccans. And I think that is how we overcame everything. We were a team. We said we were the best team, al firka al ula and we managed to overcome all our difficulties together. It was an amazing journey, honestly. Well, we actually started with the Dra, so we walked right along the, the near the banks of the Dra River. We tried to avoid cities because we were with six camels and camels don't like cities. So we always tried to be in the wilderness. Then we walked from just below Wadshibika, just below Tantan, all the way down through the Sahara to Gergerat. And there, there are very few places there. We went to Samara and we took the camels into the center of Samara, which was amazing. All the people came, all the children were amazed at this. And then the last part of the trek was through the Atlas Mountains, just after the first lockdown of Corona. So that was a very interesting experience because we saw how Corona was affecting the people in the countryside. And for me, one of the very interesting places was the Rakam Plateau which is near the border with Algeria and which is still inhabited from the Beni Halal who came over to Morocco in the 8th century. So we, we had a very interesting and varied experience of the country. I learned, I think the main thing I learned was patience, sabr. Because when you're doing such a long journey, you have to be patient. If you're angry or tired or hungry or thirsty, you just have to wait. So I learned this. And the second thing I learned was that people are the same, no matter the color of their skin, whether they're a man or a woman, whether they're old or young, all of us have the same hearts. And that's what Morocco has taught me. And that heart is a good heart.